Hi, Courtney. Just taking a look at your file here. Um, so we got a note here. We got a picture of you. So this picture view is really blurry. We have a group for some reason. We probably don't need that. We could just click and drag that over the trash can. I think this layer is empty, so we can click on that and delete that with the trash can. Yeah, that was that was empty. So yeah, just delete that layer. Um, you have two of the image of you. Not sure what the difference is. This one has a, a, a sepia effect, maybe. This one has a stroke on it. So maybe you're wanting the sepia effect one. I guess I'm just not totally sure if you need both of these. Um, you might want to delete one of them. I've got this in here. So one thing that's happening... So I don't need this either. You might want to try... Wow. Okay, so we really only need these three layers, probably something like that, unless you want the two images of yourself stacked. Um, also, let's do image mode. You're in RGB color, so we need to make sure we're in CMYK color. Don't merge. Okay. And then get image canvas size. Let's take a look at your canvas size. I'm just looking. So you're at 15 by 26 pixels. So if we go to image image size, we can see that you're at 72 by 26 inches by 15. So really what we need to do is we need to set up a new document, file new, make it eight, make it 11 by 8.5 or either 8.5 by 11. So I went file new document, file new. Make sure your resolution is 300, make sure you're in CMYK color, transparent background here. Get your settings looking like this, and then push Create. And we'll go back to yours. Let's do a command. Let's just do a Shift and click, or just click on the top, and then push Shift and click on the bottom, and then Command C or Control C if you have a Windows. Hop back over to that Untitled that we just made, and Command V to paste this in. So we want to remove the background on this. Um, so if you click on this layer with the musical notes, we can use the Remove Background button in the Properties panel. If you don't see it, you might have to scroll. Did not do a good job. So we'll Command-Z that. Um, I don't know if this is a very high-res image, but if we use... Let's do Select Color Range. Put the little eyedropper on the on just the white, and push OK. And then just push Delete on the keyboard, and then Command-D to deselect. Now we have that. Let's do a Command T for transform. Command T. Ooh, I did skip some of the white, so I can see that now. Push return. Um, let's do select color range again. Push OK and delete. Oh, and I accidentally when I did that, did I, no, I didn't delete it out of that other layer. Okay, good. Um, and then this picture of you, we might want to move you over here. Maybe not so much so your head. Your head was really filling in the, um, the note, which I don't know if I was really liking it, because it looked like maybe something like this would be good. And you look, you almost look like you're leaning forward, so if we, if we straighten you out by getting this little double arrow when I go to Command-T, to transform or resize anything. This is on the worksheet for the introduction to Photoshop 2, the Command-T, but um, there's a list of shortcut commands that might be helpful. But you can rotate this, and I think 7.3 is pretty good. It looks a little bit straighter. So if we cover up this, I don't know if that's doing us any favors. I think it actually looks better to have you off to the side and push return. Um, so yeah, I would remove the background on the notes. This, I don't know if it's necessary. I don't like it that it's... Maybe you're trying to cover yourself up a little bit or something, but I just don't think it's helping. Um, so I would maybe think about deleting that and adding in a different background here. So you do your file place embedded and bring in, you know, any, any kind of um, image. 
that you've you know downloaded um, or found on pexels.com. So if we go here and go to pexels. We could find, a, you know, maybe a um, landscape. I don't know what you want to do. Um, oh, here's here's just a interesting texture, so we can download that at original file size. That went into my downloads. Opened up on its own. Oh, it's a video. No, no, it isn't. Okay, it's an image. Sorry. So then, if we do a file place embedded. We can bring that in from our downloads. Place that. So, and I could even rotate it while the blue X is through it. I can push Shift on my keyboard to get it at 90. Let up on Shift, and then I can resize. Not saying that you want this for your background, but like you know, maybe a texture of some sort or something visually interesting. Um, and then you just click and drag that underneath to change the layer order. And I think something like that would be okay. Um, you would need one more layer, because this layer is empty. So really, you need four layers, and probably you could clip out a few more things and maybe fill in a few areas to fill it out. Stuff that has to do with you um, and your hobbies, potentially. Obviously you like music, so that's awesome. Um, you know, maybe family members, pets, and things like that. So. Anyway, um, good work. We do, you do need to fix your canvas size, copy and paste all your layers over into the new document, um, delete the extra layers that you don't need, and you know just just kind of follow the process that I went through in this, in this video. If you need to rewind and watch, hopefully that will help you. All right, uh, have a good weekend. Talk to you later.